name is CJ. I'm the technical director at the Mischler Theater. Today on Tour Tuesday, I wanted to show you one of the crown jewels of our theater, which is the pin rail. The reason that we're called the Hemp House is because we fly everything on stage with rope. So we use a pin rail, and the unique thing about a pin rail and hemp rigging, which is rope rigging, is that it is the original style of counterweight rigging. And just like with any basic rigging principles, it's all about a gigantic rope-driven seesaw. But we're very fortunate because this is the original design for rigging. What counterweights do and how they work is on the line set we have a metal clue. And what that does is it grabs the rope and it allows us to attach weight to the other side. And a counterweight helps the operator pull out and bring in drops or curtains or lights. So, because whenever you put something on the other side of the seesaw, it gets really, really heavy, right? So, you know, if I weigh 150 pounds and I sit on one side of the seesaw and then I had a, you know, let's pretend that I'm, you know, 130 pounds and I'm over here and I'm trying to get it to move, well, there's a 20 pound difference. That's actually a pretty decent amount of variable. But a lot of times with counterweight rigging, lights get heavy really quickly, curtains get heavy really quickly, things of, and you know, other flown items of that nature. And what the counterweights allow us to do is even the load out. So when I go to bring something in or take it out, it is much more easily operable. one of the other big stars of the onstage technical world. What I'm standing behind right now is a batten. Our battens in the theater are 51 feet in length and they are suspended, as we talked about before, by rope. Because you have something that is on the outside of each one of these knot points for the working lift lines, um, to be able to spread the load out more evenly on the cantilever side, we have this, which is called a bridle. So what it does is it takes a single point and it spreads the load out into two places. So you don't have all of this space between line set number two, mid stage, and line set number one on stage right here. And then all of this extra batten, which will have weight on it if you have a curtain, that has no extra support added to it. So our grid is 65 feet from the stage floor level to the underside of our wooden grid. It is a underhung waffle grid. So what that means is that we're able to walk out onto the grid 65 feet up, which is super fun. And you can check the line sets, look at the pulleys, make sure that everything works well. It is very important to wear PPE gear, which is a term now that everybody is used to. But PPE in the rigging world is a safety harness for working at heights safely. So. We have SRLs, which are self-retracting retracting lifelines. These battens are incredibly versatile, and that's one of the really cool things about a uh, style of hemp rigging. But you can do this in any theater with any counterweight system. And the reason why it's so neat is you can attach literally anything you can dream of to these, whether it's the sun and the moon, uh, in you know a flat cutout or a curtain, uh, which, fun fact, a curtain is held on with many repetitions of the same knot you use to tie your shoes. So if you can think about how strong that knot is, not a lot of people think about that because it's what we use to keep our shoes tied, but it's also a very strong, versatile knot that we use to hold all of the curtains in house. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy this knot is, but I'm gonna show you how versatile this is. This is an improved clove hitch.
that skirts the outside of the stage before you get to the grid. It's where the grid axis is in the theater, which is where all the other rigging elements are. But what's really neat is the view that's that way. Another usable tool that we have up here, which is really, really important, is these pick lines that we have. And we have eight of them on the fly floor, and they are useful for when you're lifting something very heavy and you don't want to have to try to carry it up the stairs like a ladder or something like that. And it could be a fall hazard if you're carrying it and you get into a tight spot or an issue. So these help you be able to lift a tool that you're working with or some other implement up to the fly floor without having to be carried up a staircase. So this is a really neat area of the theater. And one of the things, you know, especially in the Phantom of the Opera is they talk about the catwalk and, you know, the Phantom takes across the catwalk and disappears into the, you know, the abyss of the theater. But this is our catwalk. Uh, we're 25 feet above the stage floor. And it's also a really cool historical part of the theater. In this theater, we used to paint our own backdrops. So if you can see on this side, where this handrail is between here and the wall, there was apparatuses for stretching canvas and then traveling it from the stage floor and up to the grid. So they could paint and walk across and work on it. Another really neat historical piece is right here. This particular setup right here was for storing their painted backdrops and large pieces of canvas. So when a backdrop was done and they needed to be able to store it somewhere, they could roll it up and they could set it on top of these wooden pieces of um, support and then it could be stored up here while they were working on it or different works in progress. Now on the stage right side of the fly, which is where our original loading bridge was, which is, you can see all of the sandbags really well now and the different clues. And uh, if you can imagine now, we load everything onto our line sets from the stage floor level just for safety. However, in the original implementation of this, all the sandbags were up here and the line set would come in enough so that you could attach a bag out and they'd swing out, attach a line on from the other side, of course. But they would attach the sandbag onto the clue and, and down. Some would say it is the most versatile of rigging and I would happen to agree with them. So you can see another set of pick lines for working with things that are heavy off the floor. And uh, this is on our stage right side. So welcome to the Michler Theater and Tour Tuesdays. Please stay tuned for more tour videos as time goes, we look forward to having you. Like and subscribe to our YouTube page, and uh, we'll see you again soon.